Good evening, everyone. Such a humbling experience to be here. I feel like I just got off the plane and I'm like, is this a dream? Um, kind of feels like one. I can't pat myself on the back, um, really, because I, I, I feel like we have so much work to do. Um, thank you to the US Asia Entertainment Summit for inviting me here. Thank you to the Asia Society. Thank you to Janet Yang, Yang Yanzi, for believing in the dream and not giving up on it. And uh, you know, a lot of people talk about the dream, but I kind of want to be a little bit clearer about the dream for me and what it means. It's always been here in Hollywood that an Asian actor could get cast in this town for a role that wasn't necessarily written Asian. I think that's like the holy grail. Um, or something that I, I, I want to believe in could happen. Um, but I think as I get older and learn more about how films get made, instead of just believing in the dream, I'm like, oh, so East West Bank is here, right? <laughs> Let's get a little bit more practical about this. Instead of just talking about dreams, we got, we got all these storytellers and talents in the audience. We got the filmmakers, directors, Rennie Harlan is here. We got producers, we got actors, screenplay writers, East West Bank, we got the money. <laughs> we can do this, guys. It doesn't have to be just a dream anymore. Come on. Um, so when do we start rolling? Uh, thank you to everybody here. You guys are all game changers. Um, Shannon Lee, your father is an inspiration to me every day. Um, we don't have a lot of heroes in society anymore. Uh, Bruce Lee is one of them. And uh, thank you to Shannon for being for, for, for being the keeper of, of his vision and his, and his dream and his spirit for all these years. Um, yeah. <laughs> tai Ma, Ma Tai, seeing you, meeting you today. You know, being another Asian actor, when, when the other Asian actor goes up on the screen and you're like, yeah, that's my guy. And, and, and if, and if he's not good, then you're like, no, oh, you know, it just, it's like, it's like watching your favorite player, you know, get the Hail Mary and fumble it. But every time you're on the screen, you're always good. So thank you. Thank you so much. Right? From, and he's everywhere. He's like in every film that was when I was growing up or on TV. It was like MacGyver, Robocop, um, and your new film, which is incredible and you're coming up in Mulan. He's, he's everywhere, you're everywhere. Thank you. Thank you for being so good. Um, the Honorable Kevin Rudd, when, when he was Prime Minister and he was speaking in fluent Mandarin, I'm like, I was like, this world has hope. Uh, so inspiring. Um, thank you for building all those bridges. It's very meaningful. And my family, on a personal note, my parents are here, my brothers are here, their wives, their kids. I would, I would be dead in a gutter if it weren't for you guys. Um, I think trying to survive the entertainment industry, you can't do it without a support network. So. I was asked by some younger kids today, like, what was the advice? I would say, you know, other than practice, yeah, <laughs> practice. But uh, also, um, be nice to your family. And if you don't have that, uh, it's a dangerous place to be in this industry. Uh, if you're not lucky like me, be nice to strangers and make a lot of friends. <laughs> and, uh, you know, 
have integrity to yourself and towards them, and the world would be a better place for you, and so will this industry. So I wanted to thank everybody. Thank you so much for this honor. And again, we're all game changers, so let's make a big change. <laughs>